Hi there, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Python code with Postgres database. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is make sure that you have Python installed. You can check that out by opening your command prompt and checking the version that is installed on your system. In my case, it's 3.6.3. .3. And next thing is making sure you have Postgres installed. Okay. If you are already gone through the Postgres installer, you should be able to run Postgres service through this option. So go to all programs in your Windows, then choose start Postgres SQL 10. And make sure that service is running in the background. Now you will be able to connect your Python with Postgres database. Now open text editor such as Visual Studio Code. Now before we start with code we have to make sure that we have Postgres library name Psycop G2 is installed on your system. Okay so type in pip install Psycop G2 and then hit enter. This will install the library that is required to connect Postgres database with Python. Okay, once you go through this process, just open your text editor here. First thing is to import this library. Okay, then create connection variable and then simply call for connect method okay here we're going to start with database okay so first thing i want to connect with test bb table this is my database test bb and table is company within it so i'm just going to ignore the table part and move to user which is going to be postgres Next thing, password, which is demo1234. Okay, then we need to have host, which is localhost. Then port, which is going to be 5432. That's it. Okay, after this, simply use print method to say connected to postgres sql db okay now after this we are simply going to check whether we can connect with this database so navigate to the directory where we have this file named sample.py okay and here I'm going to type in python sample.py. If it returns with message connected to Postgres database, that means it connected to that. If it fails with some error, that means we have a problem. Okay, it returns with message connected to Postgres DB. That means we managed to connect with the database. In future videos, I will cover how to use select query, insert query, and update query.